First, a description of the network that we're showing. We have the car divided into the front of the car and the rear of the car. We have a high-speed Ethernet backbone between these two portions of the car, running from one Molex gateway switch to the other. Uh, these Molex gateway switches also provide proliferation of networking within their portions of the car. In the front of the car, we have three Ethernet peripherals coming off of the Molex gateway switch. There's an interior camera, there's a telematics unit, and the head unit. We also have a CAN bus with two CAN peripherals. We have current production HELA body control module for the front of the car, and a current production ZF airbag ECU. Uh, these devices on the CAN bus. The high-speed Ethernet backbone to the back of the car, we have four Ethernet peripherals in the back of the car, two video decoders for the seat backs, a digital audio amplifier to synchronize with that, and a Ethernet camera for the backup assist in the car. We also have two CAN buses. We have a high-speed CAN bus with three separate devices. These are ECU platforms, the Infineon uh, Tricor Oryx platform, running bare metal, no operating system, but with a hardware security module. The Mentor Bolero development platform for Autosar 4.1, and the SD Micro Nucleo platform, which is running a small RTOS. Then we also have a low-speed CAN bus with a Hella body control module for the rear of the car. Now we'll show you how eSync can reach each of these devices in this complex in-vehicle network environment.